Hi all, it's Maggie. I'm coming back again to see if I can finish these two pages here. Um, and I wanted to record this process. I don't know. Come join the adventure because I'm not sure. But um, I wanted to show you what I'm trying to do here. So there's some start here. I did some watercolor and use different colors, just a regular watercolor. And then for these this little flowers that are fading in the background, um, I actually used a stamp and used the Distress, let me show you, um, the Distress um, color sticks and mixed them this one I use a different one but I'm want to do butterflies in different colors going up just part of the background and then hoping that because up to here this is all watercolor I'll be able to journal here and maybe a title or something and if possible add some washi tape here so this one was a mixture because I don't have all the colors just these colors I used these um, watercolor crayons um, to just to do these here and the blues same mark make I believe these were the cheap ones I bought I think I can't remember I have them for a little while but now I want to I want to introduce these colors because I want these colors to be here in different shapes of butterfly. Lovely that I have. I bought this a while ago, uh, but I have this page full of butterfly stamps. I love it. And this is the one that I use here with the. Oops, sorry, I'm moving the camera. But this is the one I use here to create that using the distressed crayons because I want it to be not overpowering but faded in the background i like this but this was not a good mixture which was the pink over the yellow um but this one here looks good so let's see what i'm gonna do here so now i'm going to take my block and i already picked this butterfly here which i have to clean and i used that one um, now let me pick maybe a, let me, let, let's go with little ones. Let me go with this one here. I'm going to put a little bit of water just, just to, and I always try to get the water. I don't, I, I, st I wanted to show a lot of the butterfly. If it has a lot of water, it really is not a good clear image. And I'm going to use purple I love purple pink and purples are my favorite colors um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use purple maybe put a little bit of pink I don't know how that's gonna look like but um well let's go ahead and do the pur purple in the inside which is a little dark darker and then we'll do the pink outside and hopefully we'll get a nice image here um, just go ahead I'm gonna put a little bit of water just a bit let me see how that's gonna look like um, and this one is gonna go this way Ooh. see what happens when you put too much water and it just all oh. let me show you see it's not clear so we're going to do it again let me do it again this time i'm just gonna not use so much water just a little bit of the moist a little bit of the mo moist and then we'll do the outside 
switch to pink and the inside sorry in the inside with the purple which is this one here and let's see let's go dark with the purple alrighty oh I do have a darker purple hold on I forgot about that we have a darker pur purple it goes let's put that one right in the middle and let's see um I'm still gonna use a little bit of water because um just to get that moving a little bit let's try it again i'm gonna try to sit it right on top of the one that's there uh, still not good you know something that's not gonna work so i'm going to change my tastic and i'm just gonna blend it in here like if it's part of the background um as a watercolor um, light is not very good here let me just put a little bit of water to move it around and I'm going to leave this spot I'm going to leave this spot the way it is for now because it needs to dry up and let's go with I'm going to have to use oh I keep moving the camera I'm going to use the um I'm gonna use acrylic paint because I want it to I want the butterflies to show a little bit more so let's go ahead and get some acrylic paint let me see what I have So I've got my Jane Davenport acrylic paints and here I have to be a little bit careful which I can take let me see if you guys can get a better view here okay. I'll have to keep moving the camera let's now use this color let's actually let's use the pink this light pink in the outside maybe like that and then the dark pink you know again I don't know what I'm doing here but I'm just playing to see what what it's um and then let's use the dark one right there and now I'm gonna use the same butterfly. No. Oh. Well, well, well. And then I usually stamp it in a piece of paper just to see that it's not too gooey or too strong. See, that's pretty good. I like that. That's pretty nice. All right, we're gonna go with that. And let's put this one right about here. And let's oh mm. let me try again oh, i'm going to show you right now let's try to get a better image here mm. it's okay and this light here is not that good let's try it again let's do let's change this butterfly i think it's it really doesn't take good the stamping of, of using acrylic maybe regular ink yes but um not the um not the acrylic so let's use this one i'm gonna use this one instead and let's add purple to this mix ow a little too much let's use a little bit of paper purple and I, this one is gonna have purple and blue light blue it's a little bit of light blue 
in this. See what would come up. And see. So for this one, we'll do the little wings in blue. Little wings in blue. And then the center will make that purple. And let's see how that looks on the paper first. I learned my lesson from many. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Look how beautiful. Hope you can see that. Oh, yes. All right, let's do this again. So we got the blue for the wings the blue for the wings and then the purple in the middle and we're gonna put this one right about here because we're gonna put a little one there oh I'm sorry oh. well I should have didn't work let's wet it a little bit Let's try it again. All right, let me show you what I have. I need a better camera. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Ugh. Watch me mess up this book. Alrighty, let's see if we can we can do this. Let me move this camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to try to put it right on. I'll do another one right here. Let's do it like that. Leaving the page. Yes. Oh, this beautiful. That is beautiful. Look. I, this light here is not that great. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of. Let's go with um, orange get some orange going and I'm going to dry this page here now we're gonna use some orange maybe my orange shouldn't go because I think that is going to create mud mm, let's separate that that's a nice color it's a very nice color alrighty and um, we'll do that with maybe a little bit of pink and we'll change the butterfly to a different butterfly and oh yeah that looks pretty good yep i like that now we are going to change the butterfly to um this one this one here. Let's get a stamp. Let's see how that one looks. Let's do the pin in this side, pin in the side, and in the middle. Yeah, that looks it's gonna be nice. And then this one is going to let's see if you guys can see what I'm doing here. with the um all right let's try that we got the light there and let's just get this one right there and let's see hmm that was a disaster definitely a disaster Alrighty, that's not gonna work so damage control i ended up I ended up let me let me put this camera in the right place. This is dry. Um oops, sorry. Alrighty, so what I did was I came back and smear some color here because this one did not look good this one still doesn't look good um and then put a little bit of the um let's see a little bit of the um little dots to blend it all in 
and then I added more flowers with colors. It looks much better. You can see that. Um, now I can write something here. Write something here and uh, be done with it. Um, but I think I like it. I think it's good. It's so now I'll find a quote here. Uh, so basically what I did is I did the watercolor, I used the distress crayon to get the butterflies, but it wasn't working so much because it was coming out to be very light like that, which was okay for this, but not the butterflies. So I switched and I went into acrylic paints and used the acrylic paint to just show more of the butterflies. And um, I messed it up here because my butterfly was really bad. And then I tried to fix it and made it worse. And um, then came back and just blot a little bit of the acrylic paint. And, and I think it looks really nice. Now it's finding a good quote and work on my handwriting and put a quote here. And this page will be done. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back. So... Um, Good thing that we can edit videos because it was a total disaster um, and I was able to clean the table and be able to um, um, get organized so I decided that I'm not going to do anything else on this as a background and um, because I have acrylic paint here and I decided that I'm just going to stamp something here, not directly to the page because it will bleed through and I want—I don't want that. I want it to um, just sit on the page. So what I did is I'm going, I purchased the stamps and um, I stamped it here. I'm gonna cut it and glue it here. What appears to be the end is usually the start of a new beginning, which is how I felt when I was almost trying to get this page completed I say just don't even record it don't even post this video but I say you know <clears throat> you have to keep coming back and then at the end you're gonna like your final product um, or you will be content sometimes you're not but most of the time when you come back and you keep working on the page it does get better so I'm going to cut this um, and I'm just gonna paste this here and I think that is as far as I'm gonna go with this um, and I'm gonna skip this part because it's boring so I will be back once it's glued okay so I've cut the pieces now I'm gonna go ahead and glue them there see if I can do a close-up so you can get a better image okay I think that is going to work so what I have is a little scrap paper here and this glue stick which usually works pretty good and um, just before I glue it just try to figure out how I want this to be I don't want it to be in the way the stamp comes in so I wanted to just kind of make it a little crazy here maybe like that let's cover this butterfly which I don't like we'll start right there and then kind of on a piece and that's it I think I'm gonna go with that. I know um, that sometimes when your background is light, you may wanna, whatever you're adding to the page, have color so it pops out. Oops, sorry, I did it again. Um, or what I can do is, I can put it right here and then place yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I do with the book, with uh, Jane Davenport's book. Which eventually, when my book is done, I'm going to be crying. 
I have to go buy another one. Let's just put it. I'm going to I want to look at a page and yeah. Let's look at the page, see if we can cut something and place it here that is full of color and life. Because we need something to be striking. So let's look at this book and let's see what do we want to use. What do we want to use? Probably don't have any more. <laughs> I'm going to have to color. Oh, maybe I can use her. Maybe I can use her. Oh, she's going to look beautiful there. Oh, yeah. We're going to use her. Yep. That's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut her out. Let me see what I'm messing up. Oh. Mm. Let's see. When I cut, I'm going to lose part of this image. Anyway, but I do like her a lot. And I think she's gonna look wonderful there. So let's cut her off. And um, we're just gonna come here. And I'm doing exactly what I'm not supposed to do and is to add additional layers to my planner because it will get thicker <coughs> excuse me it will get thicker but she's just perfect with the colors so let's go ahead and um let's i'm gonna leave a, a little border around it uh, since her hair it's gonna be hard to cut So we'll just go ahead and create a little border around it. So let's see. Let's see if I can make this. Mm. You guys can see her. The good thing about this is that I do like the fact that I'm going to be able to cover oh, that is beautiful and something mm, kind of like that there like she has wings it would be wonderful to just have it there looks like she has wings there you know something? That's exactly where I'm going to place her. Alrighty. Now for this one, and then I'll put my words right here. Alright, I'll be back again. And finally, I am done with my page. I was thinking about maybe journaling here. But I have a lot going on here. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um... I noticed that my <laughs> they're not very straight, but it's okay because I didn't want it to be very straight. But this is how it looks. And now I have one more page to go and I'm done with the month of May. Bye.